Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jeff, and I am the Tropical Garden Guy. We're here in the middle of December, actually late December. It's almost Christmas time, and as everybody can see, my backyard is looking pretty darn good, considering I don't protect anything, and uh, <laughs> winter is almost half over. But we're here to talk about uh, star fruit growing here in Northern California, Zone 9B. I have a uh, star fruit tree. I believe it's a seedling of carry that I've had in the ground for probably 25 years, believe it or not, and it produces fruit. But some years the fruit is not that great. As the tree is a seedling, um, the fruit seems to be hit and miss. And um, I wanna discuss that. But first, if you like this channel, Click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and their questions. So let's go back here on my side yard and we're gonna take a look at the uh, carry, um, the carry seedling that I have growing. I guess I should just call it a seedling. Um, boy, look at this. Bananas are still looking good. Um, so we're going back here in my back side yard where I got the air conditioner unit and as you can see it's pretty tight back here and actually this is the ideal location for growing a starfruit tree because starfruit as you can see it's windy out today but it's just barely blowing here on this side of my house the tree itself is probably 20 feet tall uh and it's surrounded by we've got uh we've got seven foot walls around the house but the carry, the, the, the tree's doing really good. The only problem is, it seems to me like the fruit is hit and miss. I mean, if you look, there are various sizes and shapes, and I am not liking that. It's really, the presentation is not that great. The fruit's sometimes delicious. Um, um, but some, like this, look at this. These are tiny, and they're they're starting to ripen up as they do. We have two two different seasons, summer and uh, and winter. And this is one of the disadvantages of trying to grow uh, a fruit tree uh, from seed. Uh, it's just not ideal. Uh, take a look, this is a pretty good size one. Um, but no, I, um, I, my goal on this tree is, like I said, it's, uh, it's um, the tree is 25 years old and it's just, I'm at the end of my ropes because it produces some years good fruit and some years um, not so good fruit. Um, but my goal is to regraft this, or I should say graft it. It's funny, here we are in December, and as you can see right here, it's starting to produce flowers again. Um, let's take a look at the trunk and I'll show you what I mean. A long time ago, I, I started to, uh, I cut it back and I was gonna allow some suckers to grow and I was gonna graft it. And the budwood never really got here in time, so it regrew, and I let it regrow. And it's producing fruit, but not the quality. Look at this. This is not the size of star fruit that you want. I mean, it's edible when it's ripe, but it's just not great. So I have a, a question of anybody else that grows star fruit out there that has a grafted variety, and you may want to spare some budwood, would you get in contact with me? Uh, you can contact me at Jeff Earl at um, on Facebook, and maybe we I, we can work out some kind of trade or something. I'm looking for some budwood. Probably have to graft it in the spring. But yeah, so the quality of uh, seedlings is never guaranteed. Ideally, you should graft your trees. This tree I didn't graft. Didn't uh, realize that you had to graft at the time I planted this 25 years ago. But it's doing so good and it survives every winter. It does very good. As you can see, we're, like I said, we're almost at Christmas time and it's looking beautiful. Not just close to the house, but away from the house. It's doing fine. So, on a rare occasion, I'm calling for some of my, one of my viewers at least out there that has a, uh, a graft and a named variety that really doing good for them. I will uh, do a graft video on my uh, this star fruit here in the spring. So if you got any wood, budwood, let me know. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comments section below. 
I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and their questions. So you guys have a wonderful day and have a Merry Christmas.